AMD has been continuously improving their Ryzen CPU since the first gen launch. And yes, we are finally here with the latest Ryzen 5000 under the Zen 3 architecture. And as you can see here, AMD also take on the same path as Intel for not including a box cooler together with their CPUs this time. But jokes aside, the performance is surprising. Okay, so in this video, we won't be wasting your time reading the spec sheets, which you have probably read it for the past few weeks. As AMD has claimed that they are making better CPU for gaming now, we'll be comparing these two CPU we have here, which is the AMD Ryzen 9 5900X against the so-called king of gaming for now, the Intel Core i9-10900K. So before we move into the performance number, there are something I'd like to mention, which is the specification of the test bench, which we'll be using to compare the performance between these two. For the test, we are actually using recommended motherboard and beta version of the BIOS for the motherboard for the test. So performance might vary by the time this CPU arrives your hand. Okay, so without any further ado, let's look at the performance number here. Now you've seen the performance number from our test results, we can see that the 5900X here is actually performing very well. It's almost on par or not better than the 10900K from Intel. I must say AMD has really done it this time. Not only that it gained better single core performance, it also showed very significant improvement in gaming as well. For our first set of tests, we left everything on auto for the 5900X and turns out that the thermal performance is surprisingly good as compared to the previous generation. The 5900X is cooled by a Cooler Master ML360R and the highest temperature recorded throughout our stress test is peak at 
83 degrees Celsius, which is pretty okay as compared to the previous Gen 3900X. But just so you know, most of the time, the 5900X will only go up to 4.3 or 4.4 GHz for most of the core intensive tests, which requires more cores during operation. So, if you want to get more performance out of it, you can actually overclock it to 4.6 GHz minus the extra boost you'll get from setting everything to auto. You can actually land this at 4.6 GHz at around 1.21 vCore as according to our sample here. Which is pretty okay if we compare to how we overclocked the previous gen Ryzen CPUs. The memory performance also shows a pretty reasonable improvement as we can see lower latencies across all the kits we've used. But because of the less matured beta BIOS we're using as of now, we might not be able to get very high memory overclock result as of now, but you will probably get even better result than what we have here as soon as the thing came out. So with everything looking very well for AMD here, should you upgrade to the Ryzen 5000 series? Well, if you're upgrading from the first gen Ryzen, Zen, Zen Plus, yes, it's a very worthy upgrade looking at the amount of improvement you'll get as compared to what you're using now. Zen Plus, Zen, it's a huge improvement. This thing is freaking good. Compatibility wise, yes, there are certain board partners that still allows you to use the Ryzen 5000 series on their 400 series chipset motherboards. But personally, I don't really recommend that because you are wasting your money for not utilizing most of the features which the newer gen Ryzen CPUs offer. And it's best if you can actually invest in the newer gen motherboards with 500 series chipsets which allows you to utilize pretty much all of the new features available here. So that sums up our review and comparison for the Ryzen 9 5900X against the Intel Core i9 10900K. Do let us know what do you think about the Ryzen 5000 series CPUs, especially this one we have here, the 5900X. So will you upgrade to the new Ryzen 5000 series? Will you take the leap from blue team to the red team? Do let us know in the comment below. If you like this video, do give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel here for more videos like this in the future. And I'll see you guys in the next video.